what's good everybody and welcome back to my channel smoking and grilling with me a b and that's right y'all we grilling hey so listen you guys seen the thumbnail you know what i'm making i'm making a country style pork boneless ribs right listen super easy and then for those of you guys that you know what it is, might still be too cold you know right now you know it depends on what part of the country you in i'm gonna tell you guys and then don't forget to look down in the description box below i'm gonna give the whole description of how to make these in the oven and they're gonna come out just the same minus the smoke hey so with that being said i'm not gonna over talk it and we finna make it happen Okay, so look, you guys can see right here in the background that I'm gonna be using, and get my hand right here, so you guys can see that I'm using my Weber kettle. Just showing you that now, you guys gonna see the whole setup. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is, let's get these open. Now I'm gonna take them, and because of, look, if you ever worked with these before, you can see how long they are, right? This is gonna be a trip part right here. So, listen, for handling purposes, we just gonna cut them in half. So, I'll just set this like this. And what I can say, we'll just cut them in half. I'm gonna leave this part right here as whole. It's kind of like tore right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it down this way. And then we'll just leave it like this. Get back, boy. Move, Bosco, move. And then here we'll just cut it in half. And we're gonna do these with all of them, right? Now I wanna show you one thing. Look right here. I'm gonna hold it up. You can see the fat right here. Listen, it's that fatty flavor. All of this is gonna render down, but it's gonna make for some great tasting, you know, ribs. So, now, I'm gonna go ahead and touch the meat like this, right? We'll just get them out here like this. I'm gonna take my clean hand, and what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna go ahead and just drizzle a little bit of olive oil, get them going, get them on my glove also. And what we wanna do is just massage the meat and make sure it's coated. Reason being, what we wanna do is, we wanna start, you know, sprinkling a little salt on it. And I showed you guys like in several videos, listen, when you're dealing with a big piece of meat, listen, they very, very, uh, I'm gonna just say welcoming of salt. So you just wanna go ahead and hit it like this. Don't worry, you can't over salt it. You know what I mean? Cause listen, a lot of this gonna render down. But meanwhile, when I start getting my fire ready, this right here is gonna be soaking into the meat and penetra penetrating the meat. Now you guys can see, you know, I got them like this. So what I wanna do is I want it to relax. We are gonna let it rest with this salt on it. And now I'm getting ready to go ahead and start on my uh, on my fire. So we'll just leave it like this. And now it's time to get this fire burning. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and remove my grate and I'm gonna get everything set up, you know, cause we're gonna do a three hour cook. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it up. And look, you can see right here, I'm gonna be using my slow and sear. This has a water trough right here. I'm gonna be using that. I'm gonna go get me a pan to catch the drippings. And then we're getting ready to get this fire going. Now, what I'm gonna do is, if you look right here in the corner, I'm gonna go ahead and put my coals. I got just a few in here lit, right? I'm gonna just put them in this way. We only need a few. I'm gonna go ahead and get something to push those up, and then we are gonna load regular coals on top. So it's gonna start burning this way and moving this way. This is what we're doing is setting it up. And now I'm getting ready to go get my water that's already boiling inside. I'm gonna put, you know, fill this up, maybe about, leave about a quarter of an inch from the top. And we're getting ready to get this started. Now look, I got them all pushed up this way, right? So now I'm getting ready to start with some fresh coal. And what we're gonna do is, we just wanna get a, you know, get it level. That we wanna get a little smoky flavor, right? So what I'm gonna do is, this right here is some pecan wood. I just cut some chunks. So we're gonna put one here. We'll probably put another one here. And maybe one here. You know what I mean? So listen, when it get here, as it burns and it starts flowing back this way, this is what you want to get. That's the purpose of starting your coals on one end. Now let me go ahead and add my hot water here. We're going to put our grate back on and then we're going to go ahead, adjust it, get the right temperature, and then I'm going to go ahead and put the meat on. All right, I got my hot water. And then listen, we're going to just insert this tray right here. This cuts down on the mess. So we're gonna have this. Okay, so look, I didn't say this. This is what you call the direct heat. This is indirect heat. We're gonna slow cook it. You can see it's starting to you know, smoke. So let me put the grate on and then all of the render fat will go here. It helps you with your cleanup. Okay, from here, you guys can see it. It's smoking from this side. That's what we want. And we want as it burns, you know, the charcoals is gonna work its way down here. And if you notice, I stopped putting what I did was I, I didn't put no wood past this. 
after so long it's only absorbed so much flavor and we all know this white smoke right here ain't the best us in the barbecue world call that dirty smoke but we're gonna go ahead and do that so that we can so that we can uh, get you know get the flavor in here and we go from there so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take these and we just finna start putting these on right and what is this called you guys you guys know it's the indirect side and then when I put it down you can see these little side little little profiles you could just imagine how much flavor is inside of here that's one of the reasons why I like pork rib you know so much okay you can see the arrangement I tried to put as much meat as I can over the uh, catch pan on the bottom you see it smoking on this side it's nice and hot okay so it's gonna start working this way we're gonna put this lid on now this vent is right here right we know the fire is over here on this side and the meat is over here on the indirect side right so I'm gonna turn it like this just so that we can get it so in theory it draws from the bottom we want it to come up keep the coals hot right keep the oxygen there and then it comes this way and then out of the top vent now this is what it looks like after 90 minutes right look no peeking at it no nothing I maintain really 260 degrees for the whole 90 minutes and again i didn't look at it or nothing like that and you can see the flavor you can see the color of it and you can see the smokiness okay so check it out you guys can see right here where i'm getting the flare up what we want to do is i'm gonna go ahead and close my vent completely we're gonna preserve some of that we're gonna choke it out but what i want to do is we just want to flip it let me get all of these flipped over and then after that we're gonna go ahead and just start to baste them now you can see we got them all turned over right so what i'm gonna do is we just want to get ourselves some barbecue sauce and we just want to start basting them and we're gonna let them cook we're gonna flip them three times but right now it's just baste put the lid back on keep it low and slow let's get the temp back down you know get it up to uh 250 degrees or anywhere close like that for 30 minutes then we're gonna flip them again now you can see these are nicely coated wait till you see what they look like when we flip them over okay so i'm getting ready to put the lid back on we're gonna control that that heat this is what we got so let's go ahead and close it let's get our temp back to 250 or 260 degrees and then we're gonna go again for just another 30 minutes now what we're gonna do is you could just see you guys can just see how I started like to just bake the barbecue sauce on top of the ribs right so I'm gonna flip it again we'll flip them on this side now and listen I'm not gonna bore you guys with it because all you can do is just use your imagination you're gonna see the final because after I put the barbecue sauce on these, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go another 30 minutes and then I'm gonna flip them one last time, you know, for the last 30. That part I won't take you guys with. You guys get the message, you can see it right now. And uh, listen, next time you see these, they're gonna be done. We're gonna get them on the board so we can take, take a look at them. We're gonna cut them and go from there. Okay, you guys, look. Here is the final product. I didn't want to bore you guys with just like flipping, basting, flipping, basting. Hey, you guys got it. Hey, so listen, you can see it. Listen, if you were able to maintain 250 degrees to, I say I had got as high as 260 degrees for three hours, this is what you look like. You know what I mean? Again, it's 90 minutes. We don't touch it. We just make sure our, our temperature stays the same. And then this is what you come up with, right? And I'm gonna show you something right now before I cut one. You could just see, look, I'll just, oh man, look, it just want to go inside. It's nice and tender. You'll be able to see the color of the smoke, the whole shebang. So with that being said, I'm finna slide this over. Okay, what I'm gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead and get us a good chop right off the back. Right, we'll separate that, and then you guys can look at it. You can see the color of the meat. You see that, you see that, that pink right there? That lets you know that some of the smoke has penetrated. Look at the color. Hey, this right here is nice. So let's go ahead and cut us some slices. Oh man, it cuts like butter, you guys. Hey, remember, the whole key is 250 degrees and you want to maintain it. Now my next video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this, how to operate. I promise you, that's gonna be my next uh, video, how to operate a grill and how to achieve these type of cooks. But for you guys that have a little, you know, have a little knowledge on how to keep everything, you know, nice and uh, get, keep your fire true, this is what you come up with right here. So I'll just turn this over like that so you guys can see. And this one right here, we'll cut it just the opposite way. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these at an angle. 
this first light is gonna be a little bit, you know, thick. Now we'll just start cutting them like this. As you can see, it's just like butter. Let me bring it up here close. Let's let it focus. And there you go. That's your money shot right there. So I want you guys to tell me what you guys think about this one here. You wanna talk about like easy. Only thing is, I'm gonna tell you the only thing that would be like challenging to you is just like managing your fire. But if you set your slow and sear up, you know, the way that I just showed you, listen, for that long cook, and I can tell you this right now, look, we've been going about three hours and 10 minutes, and listen, it's still got a little ways to go. This probably will set up to burn about five, maybe five and a half hours. You know what, I haven't put no timer on it. But I just wanna say also, if you guys look, for those of you guys that do not have a grill or it's too cold, it depends on what time of the year you're watching this video, you know what I mean, and you wanna make this and have this uh, this kind of success, you know, making these uh, boneless ribs, all I gotta tell you is look down in the description box below and I'm gonna write it out for you to show you you can do the same thing in the oven minus, you know, like the, uh, the grill flavor. But outside of that, listen, I'm gonna show it to you one more time. I can barely talk because I done already had some already. Hey, look, here they go again. I got another one right here. I got people standing behind here. Look, everybody's waiting on it. You know what I mean? Uh, hey, listen, I smell smoky. It smells incredible. So let me go ahead and just hit it. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and just take me one of these. I don't know any, meeny, miny, mo. Ho, oh, this is the one we're going to do right here. Ah. Hmm. I'm going to get down like it's a... Like this, a barbecue. Let me go ahead and hit it like this. <laughs> mm -hmm. You want to talk about good? Hey, listen, all you guys, listen, I know I'm on the grill. No worries. My next video, I will cover how to properly use a, v a grill. It'll show you just what the vents do, how to work it. It's going to all make sense. And I promise you, after watching that video, for those of you guys that don't know, either you can teach somebody, teach one of your loved ones, teach that cat to say he know what he's doing, and teach him to quit cooking on top of that fire. Hey, I'm going to show it all to you guys. So if you're new to my channel, let me just say, hey, welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, I'm out of here. Peace.